Uh, by the time you see this video, it will be Sunday. <coughs> um, I've been uh, busy with things. Whoops, I just broke my flashlight. Crap. <laughs> and uh, I had to buy another washer, or going to buy another washer, I should say. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get a top loader, but it's going to have no agitator. Um, this one here, I had a uh, pleasant surprise. Um, you can kind of see that, well, let's see. You see that stuff there? It's screwed to the floor. Well, I got to have this thing strapped to the, the wall, too. Otherwise, the damn thing just flies all over. And I thought it was this floor, but I got to further inspecting and. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna replace it because look at the seal here. It's getting all dried out and stuff, and it stinks. And um, I replaced the shocks in the front. They're broke. In the back here has the drum and the built. Um, they're fine. The bearings out on this thing on the tub, and uh, I'm afraid it's always set on high when it spins. And uh, okay. So I've been using it on low, on extra low, and it takes longer to dry then, but the dryer works. Uh, this is a 2005 Kenmore Elite, and uh, it's been ran uh, twice a day when, in 2005. It was ran twice a day or three times a day, every single day, until I got it, and I run it every couple days. Uh, I got it in 2011, I think, or was it 2012? I don't remember, but... Uh, these are my dad's washers and dryers. They were very expensive. The only thing we've ever done to this thing is I put two shocks in the front and a pump as far as I can remember. This door is loose here. Um, this stuff is deteriorating away. This drum here. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can't see it, but it, it wiggles a lot. And it, it's just like that water pump in that Ford truck. You can feel that play in the bearing. So that's where my excessive vibration is coming from. When it does the spin, it vibrates so bad, the whole entire casing, the housing just about breaks apart. And uh, it shakes the whole damn house and everything falls off everywhere and it's been getting worse and I just thought well something's not right so I watched some YouTube videos and they told me a guy told me to reach under here and uh, see if the the basket stainless steel basket wiggles just wiggle it like that and it goes up and down there is play in it you guys can't see it but so the bearings out so I talked to the dealer I said it's 2005 I said what's well, been done to it and they were saying well control board could go out you know that's about two hundred dollars for that um, and then the tub could be corroded inside who knows I looked underneath the rubber stuff is starting to get like white like this it's starting to look tough this gasket's starting to it's not leaking but it's starting to look rough and um, what I'll do is I'll keep this washer, but there is a Whirlpool top loader, 2009 used one. I'm gonna get like for 150 bucks. This hasn't been used very much, is what they claim, but I don't know. And it's, um, it's supposed to have a digital display like this uh, for 100, like 160 or whatever bucks. They just gotta put a pump in it, I guess. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll take it. So this one, will be put in this other room over here and uh, I'll keep it for a spare even though it's not any good really it's not it's a really a hazard so that's what I've been doing for that part so now I'll explain what else I've been doing and you can hear the dishwasher going in there okay well let me tell you there the hot water heater turned on that's what I need to tell you what's wrong so the next, I've been on dates and stuff and out and hanging out with friends, so I haven't had time to film anything. I've been hanging out with a lot of friends. I'm t I just actually woke up from a nap. I'm tired from going everywhere. I got a problem with my hot water heater, and it's a thing that I figured would happen. This, this hot water heater has never been so good. I've never had good luck with this one. Relief valve is dripping now, and uh, it's not good. 
Uh, it's starting to slow down. I'm hoping it'll quit completely so I don't have to replace it. Because that'd be about $60 of labor and then plus the parts. So um, I could do it myself. Yeah. Um, I just prefer not to. Um, it's a six year warranty on the tank. I'm not sure what the parts are. Um, it's an nail smith. I don't know if I've usually had good luck with that, but this one's been junk. It smells like gas all the time. I don't know. I smell natural gas leaking out of this control module. And I don't know. They claim it's fine, but I don't know. But 423-2014 was installed. And, yeah, it's been leaking up there, too. Uh, where is it here? I smell gas. I don't know. I just, I just don't like this hot water here. It just hasn't worked right since I got it. And, uh... I've been driving my car a lot. I haven't even drove my truck for a good week or so, or maybe a, almost a week and a half. I don't need it. Um, I'm saving that for winter, and um, it's not in good shape. No, it's not. I changed oil on my Bobcat. I don't know if I told you guys I made a little mess there, but here's the paper oil filter. Um, that was pretty simple to do myself. I used four quarts of, he uses four quarts. I got a, I got this oil, five quarts Pronto Supreme Motor Oil, 10W30 oil. It says to use that or sell 30 or whatever, you know. And I haven't changed oil on this thing for two years since I've gotten it. So, um, I check it. You can't see it, so it's clean, it's three and full. Um, I put that oil filter in, that was pretty simple. I just pull it out and bolt it back down, put the seal on there, you know, and it's, it's simple. It's pretty simple. So, um, the oil's over here. There's just nothing there. It's all gassy. Just gas. So, that would eventually took the connecting rod out of them Wisconsin engines. Yeah, the Wisconsin engines are notorious for connecting rods. That's why I had to change. It was only twenty-four dollars to change oil on it. Was, I think that's cheap, but everybody else think that's high. I got uh, mm, four thousand six hundred seventeen miles on it. I just had the tires rotated. They had it had a screw in the left front tire. So they took that out and did that for free and rotated the tire so that's in the back now. Um, I was driving at night to see, I'm going out with someone now, so I was driving at night and uh, I I couldn't do it without this car because the headlights are awesome at night. I've seen deer, you know, but it's got LED on dim and it's got halogen on, uh, here's what the lights look like. It's got halogen on, um, bright so this car is so nice at night I was driving home at like at 3 in the morning a 50 mile drive and I was just like this is just nice to have a vehicle with nice lights and there was nobody on the road so I could have it on bright as a major highway I was surprised there was nobody on the road uh, I did see a lot of deer a lot of skunks and raccoons um, drove like 60 probably it's supposed to be 70 so 10 miles, you know, whatever. Um, but other than that, yeah, this car is running really beautiful. I, I really love it. I've, th I, you know, I've been, I've always had good luck with Toyota, but um, Fords, I, I just, I don't know. I love Fords, but I never have good luck with Fords, so I'm going to stay with Toyota, I guess. Um, since I've had good luck with Toyotas, I'm just going to stay with Toyota, I guess. Um, why not uh, not ruin what, what gives you good luck, right? Yeah, that's a dishwasher. So, uh, yeah, I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to make any videos. Uh, I worked on my Ford diesel a little bit. Uh, got the oil, transmission oil pan was just hand tightened. The people who did it didn't even tighten it down. So I could stop that leak there. Uh, do the, I fixed the battery ends a little bit. Now it starts better, kind of. I wish I had another battery. <laughs> And uh, so, um, yeah, I ruled out that it is the injection pump and it's, it's a little bit out of time. 
uh, and then the injectors are not spraying at the right time causing it to run rough and uh, bearings going out on that thing too I gotta get that other dishwasher put in that dishwasher is used every day but yeah it's it's just to the point where um, uh, how much money should you spend on it you know you know what I mean so we'll see as for the Toyota we are got some plans for that the Tacoma mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of working on it here it's been nice like today November 5th it was 75 degrees today Fahrenheit uh, usually right now it's snowing on the ground so hear it hear it squealing a little bit it's getting worse I'm just gonna run it to the lock so she quit now yeah I only paid like 20 bucks for that thing, used, uh, it's, I don't know, 14 years old or whatever. And I've had it for two years and I run it every single day for 25 bucks, hey, I did a thing to it, I don't know, quiet, but just run her every single day. And it, it works, um, it doesn't flip the breaker yet, but the pump is getting noisy on it, it squeals. Uh, I also had to fix my stove. The, the connecting or the connector going to them coils melted inside and burnt to a crisp. Well, I got them connectors and I clipped the wires and melted them back together with new connectors and a new coil. So fixed it. Ten dollar fix versus a five hundred dollar stove. Yeah, because the stove is a Estate one. Uh, you know, it's electronic, digital. Everything works on Estate two thousand four, and I paid like what was it fifty bucks for it? So I paid for it. I've had that for about a year and a half, two years maybe. So, yeah, I mean, that's used stuff is not all bad sometimes. It really depends. Like, I bought a used fridge one time and didn't like that one, that's for sure. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I'm just going to update you guys what's going on. Um, I'm going to try to cut down on the videos for a couple days here because I got a lot of stuff to get done here, and um, it's just kind of uh, been hectic for family here.